Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the latest immigration news in Florida. Florida is getting even more serious with immigration guys. Governor DeSantis has just signed into law three new bills targeting immigration. So we're going to talk about in this video, what those bills are, what they mean for Floridians, what they mean for people who are undocumented, who are going into Florida, driving around Florida or living in Florida. We're going to get into it guys. And this is different from last year's big immigration bill that they had, uh, that governor DeSantis signed into law. So watch this video all the way until the end. Welcome to my channel. I'm Latoya McBean Pompey. I'm an immigration lawyer at McBean law. Reach out to us at 888-462-4006 or at mcbeanlaw.com, where you can request an appointment with an attorney. Also friends, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and you'll be the first to get notice of these videos each week. Now let's talk about Florida guys, because things are getting real in Florida. Okay. Real by the way, last year's immigration law that's still out there. Okay. Yes. Let's uh, litigation has been, um, uh, has been filed against or uh, complaints or cases have been filed to block the bill that, um, the SB 1718, but litigation has not blocked it yet. They're still going through the process. Now, this is an entirely different set of bills that governor DeSantis signed on March 15th, 2024. And he says, we are throwing the book at you and you are going to regret coming to the state of Florida. DeSantis signs bills intended to drive undocumented immigrant out of Florida. So what is this all about? Well, friends, the first bill, we'll just go right into it. The first bill, um, HB 1589 imposes tougher penalties for individuals who are driving without a license in the state. It imposes a mandatory 10 day jail sentence for a third or subsequent conviction for driving without a license, or if the license has been suspended, canceled, or uh, revoked. Now, if the you know the governor said that uh, one of the biggest deterrents we can do for illegal immigration is to make sure people that are doing that are facing serious consequences. You come here, you're not getting a license. We're not recognizing your California license that you may have gotten in a sanctuary state. And of course they're making it under this bill tougher, um, imposing tougher penalties for people who have been, uh, who are caught driving without a driver's license. And by the way, if you're an immigrant and you're caught in the state of Florida without a driver's license and, um, you're, you're detained, you're in some, uh, county jail, just know that the county jails in Florida, many of which, um, I haven't counted, of course, I don't have the number, but I do know that, um, those counties are cooperating with ice. And so they are quick to do a detainer and put an ice detainer on individuals. Once they learn that you're there without papers. So if you're caught, yes, you get this mandatory, um, jail sentence, but what else could happen while you're there guys could be far more, um, but have uh, tougher consequences, steeper consequences, I should say, uh, for your status here in the United States. Then you have, then they have the big bill SB 1036, which enhances criminal penalties for those who had committed a felony and were deported. And then they came back to the United States and are in the state of Florida. And so for example, what it does is that it, it is, it is reclassifying, it is reclassifying felonies to create longer sentencing sentences. So for example, aggravated assault is now a felony of the third degree punishable by up to five years in prison and up to a fine of 5,000. After the new law takes effect on October 1st, this new law, the crime would be, will be, uh, would, would bring the penalty up to 15 years in prison and $10,000 in fines. The most serious crimes, first degree felonies now worth up to 30 years in prison and 10,000 in fines would bring 30 years 
to life behind bar, behind bars. And so again, it, they, they are essentially creating these lengthier sentences. If you had been deported for a felony in the past, they are now reclassifying that into more serious felonies and, and holding, will hold folks in prison much, much longer. Um, and then they have another bill friends, HB 1451, which would prohibit state and local governments from recognizing non-official ID cards that are issued by community groups for people who, um, do not have, um, an ID otherwise. And so this is the, the state and local government, municipal government, uh, will not recognize certain IDs that were issued to undocumented individuals, whether in the state of Florida or, um, uh, you know, outside of Florida, they're not going to recognize it. And we already know that driver's license, they're already, you know, they, they are saying that they're not going to recognize a driver's license from the state of California or New York, um, or any other state that issues driver's licenses to individuals. So, there are, you know, the penalties here, guys, um, there are enhanced penalties for all of these. And I forgot to mention that there are enhanced penalties also, if an individual had been convicted, uh, based on some sort of drug crime or being part of a drug cartel, uh, any of those types of transactions also come comes with very, very, very serious consequences. So if you're in Florida, and you have a criminal record, well, Florida is not the state where you need to be in or you should be in. Um, be aware of what they're doing there in the state of Florida, even if you had paid your time, served your time, um, and you're in the state of Florida, it could have consequences for you if you are apprehended or arrested um, by law enforcement. Guys, so I wanted to bring this important development to you, not to scare you, but to help you to understand what is going on in the state of Florida. And so if you have an opportunity to get your immigration status straightened out, now is the time to do it. But just know that if you have very, very serious crimes on your record and you were convicted of those crimes and you're now back in the United States due to unlawful entry or you entered without inspection, just know that there is, for, for, for those of you who do that, there is no way that, uh, no pathway that could allow you to adjust your status in the United States, particularly if you entered again without inspection and you have, you were deported for an aggravated felony. Their adjustment of status is out of the question in those cases. So if you're thinking about doing something on the immigration side, speak with an immigration lawyer before you apply because you do not want to be caught, um, off guard and you want to know exactly what the consequences are for your criminal record. For some people with a criminal record, they are able to get through it despite their criminal record, but an experienced immigration lawyer should consult with you to advise, to take a look at your crime or the criminal history to advise what is possible from what isn't possible. Okay. So you could reach out to us. We'd be happy to speak with you about what those consequences are for a, your criminal background guys spread this with other people. If you're in the state of Florida, spread this to other people, uh, just so that they're in the know and guys comment below. Thanks so much for being with me in this one. And before you go to get more tips from us and immigration news, subscribe to our free newsletter at mcbeanlaw.com forward slash subscribe, and you'll get our news roundup on Fridays and other great information that we share with our subscribers. Thanks again for being with me and I will see you in the next, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.